Today we're gonna to be using the mini striker pistol crossbow to eventually shoot a pumpkin at as far as I can get it. Right now I got 71 yards. Any more than that, and I'd have to get uh, some ladders out and cut some uh, limbs and, tr and branches and stuff up tall because I don't know what kind of arc I'm gonna to have to put on this. I want it to go to 100. Uh, I know that's not feasible, but I wanna see what kind of impact it has at 100 or at least I guess we're gonna do 71. I do have a chronograph, a, a good chronograph coming, so I will be able to start chronographing again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to start by just test shooting at 71 yards, see if we can even hit that reliably. And if we can, then we'll go over to, we'll try 100. But I think, like I said, I might have to cut some branches down. So it might be in another video, the 100. And, and I know it's meant to shoot semi-auto but for accuracy purposes i am going to just load one at a time i'll show you where i'm shooting shooting right there just gonna find the shooting I heard something. I heard a ting. Like, which I thought meant I hit that. Can you see any clutchings or anything? That's, if that's really how, how short it went, that's not good. I really hope it didn't fall that short. This uh, may actually be pushing out of the out of this thing's uh, limits. Because I aimed basically as high up as I felt comfortable having a point of reference and I was eight, nine feet short. All right, I heard a bag impact. Wow, we might have just got lucky. All right, we're walking up together. I don't know where it hit yet. I just heard that very distinct bag hit sound. That doesn't tell me much because I, I would have liked to see how far it went in, but that's not really a spot that catches them very well. All right, well, now I have an aim point, so this can get started. Let's go. Let's keep going. I heard another bag impact. It'd be nice if I had like new work, good working bolts, but I don't. So we're working with some messed up fletchings on all these, but they're hitting. I don't know, that one sounded good, but it didn't have that thud. This is my best, my last best arrow I have in uh, like best condition bolt and um, I really don't want to lose this one. I just hope that it's still in the same impact spot with much better fletchings. Okay, let's go check out what happened.
that. One of them hitting the same exact spot. That is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. I see one up there. I did want to try to shoot a pumpkin at, you know, 100 yards, which is not happening. I, not today at least. So we're going to try for a pumpkin at 71. Oh, also, I only have one, um, you know, shootable, uh, one bolt that's good enough to possibly hit that. The other one's fletching has got pretty messed up. So this is going to be probably a one shot attempt. Let's see if we can nail it. This, this uh, mini striker, I know it's backwards for you, but mini striker pistol crossbow. It is, it's actually an amazing product. It's, it's a really nice pistol crossbow. I've, I've seen and heard of people taking deer with it. I don't know about that. Uh, I think he did do it at like 10 yards, so he was really close. But either way, it's accurate up to, uh, really accurate to 40. Um, I did a 60 yard shot or a 65 yard shot not too long ago. That worked really well. I think I had less, less trees in the way then. Um, but 70 is too far for this. It just doesn't. And this is the one of the lightest kind of arrows you're gonna get for it. So it is definitely not a 70 yard pistol crossbow. It is inside 70 to take shots with this. Because quite honestly, I'm just literally gonna be guessing right now. Like truly, truly guessing. I heard it hit something. Let's hope I got a pump gano. This will be a fun reveal. I'm not even looking up that way. I have my head pointed down. I don't think it's possible that I could have hit it, but we hit something. Something that hopefully we can recover this bolt. Shut up. 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 No fucking way. Well, like I said, guys, that was luck. I haven't taken any other shots besides the ones you've seen, and we fucking nailed it. So, it's 71 yards. 71 yards. And look at that. It's in the bag. So, this thing is, is definitely lethal, but... I mean, you'd have to chase whatever you hit with that at 71 yards. But, I mean, that whatever you hit with that, you know, well, not whatever. But if you, even if you hit a deer with that, you know, in, in a good placement, it, it will die. It might take many hours, but it, that, that, this thing is lethal. And that, I mean, that's ruined now. I, I don't, the fleckings are never coming back on that. I can't believe we hit it. I honestly, I'm kind of shocked. Oh, no way. All right, let's take one more shot at it. Okay, this is just gravy. I, If I hit it again, you know, amazing. But that one hit with... Just all the variables I got going on was spectacular in my opinion. If only I could remember exactly where I aim first time. Air, basically, there is no, there's no, nothing to aim at. I aim at the air. All right, so we were up. We were way up here. And we started hitting. And the way up there, and I came down and to the right. I smacked something. Hey, don't yell at me. Who 
feeds you? You, I do. I feed you. What a beautiful chicken. What a beautiful chicken. shabby for me just like just fooling around with it with a red dot i guess if you had a scope a proper crossbow scope you could get this thing dialed in pretty damn good and that's maybe a foot off here's it's not even a full reach about six inches. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I can't believe we smacked this. So psyched. Uh, when I get the, the pro chronograph should be here. I think it's uh, November 1st. So we'll get some speeds off this thing. And uh, let's get, I'm going to try to get accurate with it. And I do want to smack a pumpkin at 100 yards. We should uh, definitely make that happen. All right, sayonara.